What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some absolutely crazy news to talk about with you guys. We potentially just got a Ben Simmons trade league from the man, the myth himself. Woj, the legendary, the GOAT of the NBA, over Michael Jordan and LeBron James at this point. This guy, oh my god, he, he's just delivering all the type of news out right now. He kind of has just come out and has talked about this upcoming Ben Simmons trade that could potentially happen, which he goes on to say that the Sixers and the Raptors have had discussions around Pascal Siakam. This is again Woj and Shams. So Shams has kind of come in here too and has actually talked about it as well. And again, the one I'm reading is actually Shams' report. So I apologize to Shams on this one. The other one I just saw a second ago was the Woj one. But hey, I guess we're going with the Shams one for this video. Uh, the Raptors have had a long been link to Ben Simmons. But the 76ers are potentially sold on Siakam being a championship altering or a perfect fit on the roster and would actually require more to make this trade happen. And I believe that the Raptors could actually do this. And this is a really, really tough one because I don't know where Raptors stand right now on Pascal Siakam. I don't think they want to potentially see him, you know, be traded. But honestly, with what the Toronto Raptors are building right now, Ben Simmons might actually be the perfect player to bring in for their team. Because right now, if we look at the Toronto Raptors roster, they're kind of playing Pascal Siakam and Scotty Barnes at that center position, which is really, really crazy to talk about that both of them are kind of, you know, changing on who guards the center per night. I actually discredited Siakam before the season started and said that I didn't think he was that good of an interior defender. But I said that if he got some help, maybe he could grow into one. And hey, he, that's exactly what's happened. He has proved me wrong in terms of saying he's not a good interior defender. But proved me right by saying if he got some help, he actually might get a little better. And this is the case. They brought in Scotty Barnes, who was able to help out on the interior. And wow, those two have actually kind of been a dynamic duo when it does come to that. Not just that, Siakam is actually averaging a cool 21 points per game this season. 8.5 rebounds, 5 assists on 33% from 3, so pretty decent numbers. Again, they're not all-star numbers because keep in mind this dude is averaging 38 minutes per game. And again, those 8.5 rebounds are because no one else is to get a board over him. Again, if he had a center in his team, it'd probably be like 21 rebounds. Um, I'd probably say, oh no, 20, 21 points, sorry, and maybe... Seven or so rebounds. I don't think it'd be eight and a half, which is what he's averaging now, which is crazy numbers for this guy. Um, but is is Siakam really the fit for the team? Because at the end of the day, I think what's going to happen is Scotty Barnes is, of course, going to become the full-time point guard for this team again. He's shown a lot of signs of ball handling for the Raptors this uh, this year when Fred VanVleet is not on the court. They often give him the ball, where he has averaged three and a half assists per game, which is actually pretty neat. And I think what they're going to want to do is they drafted him to eventually be a dude that, of course, could guard one through five, but I think would eventually be their ball handler, similar to how the Golden State Warriors have Draymond Green as their ball handler. So basically, what would happen is Barnes would play the Draymond Green role of being the forward who handles the ball, and Fred Van Vliet would play the Steph Curry role where he would eventually run across screens and do all this stuff to try and get open for three because again he's one of the best three-point shooters in the league 39 percent he's made 165 threes this season which is crazy he's gonna probably have maybe 300 plus by the end of the year really crazy to think about again that's what I think the future is like for this team where they'll have him playing the one but again Van Vliet would guard the one and Barnes would most likely guard the two or the three, and I think they would eventually bring in um, a better defensive four slash five than what Pascal Siakam is. Again, I think not. Uh, they did draft him to maybe be the ball handler in the future, but I think they also drafted him because they weren't completely sold on Pascal Siakam, and I still don't think they are. With the way that I think they want to play in the future, I do think they will want to have a maybe smaller ball center but a guy that is a lot better of an interior defender than what Pascal Siakam is, and who better than that would be Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons legitimately, if you wanted a long interior defender who could guard one through five, 
which against Siakam just can't. He's more of a dude that can guard the three and the four. I don't think he can really guard the five too consistently. That's why they play Barnes here, I think, a little bit more. And again, while they still give big minutes to Achura, Birch, and Boucher. I think if you were to bring in Simmons, he would most likely start at that center position. And he would, of course, average you, uh, I would assume, around 16 points per game. Probably like 10 plus rebounds. I mean, if that dude was averaging 8 rebounds per game with Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris there, I could see Ben Simmons averaging like 10 to 12 rebounds per game. Plus, his interior def defense would not only be like double what Pascal Siakam's are, but they could legitimately be like triple. Like, Simmons, don't get it twisted, is a top 5 defender in the league. He could not only guard the interior elite, but he could also guard the perimeter very elite as well. And again, I just think he's a huge upgrade over Pascal Siakam and people who say he's not a better player because he averages less points, you're just, you're crazy. Like, again, Siakam might get five points per game more than what Simmons will, but dude, Simmons' defense will prevent way more than five points per game. I promise you on that. And again, I think he just fits the team better if they want to play a more small ball type of center. Not just that. Some people might be like, well, can Barnes and Simmons really play together? And I think 100% they can. Because again, both of them would have the ball in their hands. Again, I think Van Vliet would play that Steph Curry role. But again, what the Warriors do is they don't, they only, you know, not only have one screener in Draymond Green, but you'll also see Andre Iguodala and Kevon Looney setting screens up like nearly every single play. And that's what Ben Simmons would do as well, except I promise you he'll be a lot better than what Kevon Looney is for this team. Not just that, the team is still surrounded by shooters. If you have Barnes at the one, it's not like Barnes can't shoot. He's still hitting 31% from three and has a lethal mid-range on him. Not just that, at the two, you would have, of course, Fred Van Vliet, who is a top five, I think, three-point shooter in the league at this point. Then at the, you know, three, you have OG Ananobi, who's like a 35% high volume shooter as well. Then at the four, I think is, actually, you'd probably play, you'd probably play, um, I think, Barnes at the four. Like, he would defend the four. And then you'd probably start Gary Trent, I think, on that team, who is a 38% three-point shooter. So everyone other than Simmons, you got three players who were shooting more than 35% from three, and Barnes, who I think will develop into a player that will, you know, shoot 35% plus from three. And then in free agency, because players will see how good this Raptors team is becoming, a bunch of shooters and stuff will want to come to the team, and you can always draft a shooter. And dude, if you have a starting five, which again, because Scotty Barnes is going to develop into a near all-star player, I think, if you have a starting five that looks like defensively Van Vliet at the one, Gary Trent at the two, OG at the three, Barnes at the four, and Simmons at the five, defensively that team is cracked. Like OG, Simmons, and Barnes, all great defenders, and Van Vliet and Trent can definitely hold their own. And three-point shooting-wise, it's all really good as well. Plus, you got two really, really good ball handlers in Barnes and Simmons, and if one of them were to get injured, then I guess you could just say to Van Vliet, hey, do you want to take ball handling duties up again? It's really not that hard. That team would be absolutely cracked and would be better than the team they've got now, obviously. And again, I think would inspire a lot more players to come in free agency. Then there's the other situation. Now, if we look at the Philadelphia 76ers side, what are they going to say about this? Because clearly they're not going to just do Siakam for Ben Simmons. They're going to want a little bit more. I think you're going to have to throw in a first round pick or two to get this deal done because that's just what the Sixers want. They want a bunch of firsts. And if the Harden deal falls through, they're going to have to trade Simmons eventually because, again, Harden's most likely going to stay in Brooklyn, in my opinion. So, again, if the Raptors are what I think they're going to be, you're not going to care about giving up a first or two because, look, the team is going to be so much better. Like, Barnes developing an extra year, Simmons being the defensive anchor that he would be. I think he would explode on the Raptors. I wouldn't even be surprised if his points went up to like 18 a game. Started averaging like 12 rebounds per game as well. Probably could still do his 8 to 10 assists per game. It would be insane. Defensively as well, he could go for Defensive Player of the Year. Um, and then again, all you'd have to do is maybe give up Siakam, a first or two. And then like a Goran Dragic dude on a sign-in trade of like 5 million a year or something like that. 
that would get the deal done. Philadelphia would really need a player like Drogic. He would help out heaps. Again, a playmaker to come off the bench that can also shot create. And it's a very nice three-point shooter that can space the floor out with him beating that on the court. Then you bring in another all-star in Siakam, who has improved defensively this year, I will admit. How he goes with the bias Harris, I'm not exactly too sure. But again, you can always use that first or two to eventually trade as well if you're the Sixers. In my opinion, I don't think the Sixers should do this because, like, I just don't think Siakam is the best fit for their team. But also, I feel like it's better than Simmons at the moment because Simmons is just not even playing. But the issue is, again, there's also the James Harden thing. They're really wanting to trade Ben Simmons and a bunch of picks to get Harden uh, on a sign and trade. But we know that Harden is most likely going to stay in Brooklyn this offseason. But hey, credit to the Sixers. They're going full steam ahead. They think they're a sniff. And honestly, I think they're a sniff as well. I definitely can't see why they couldn't entice Harden to at least think about it. And by the sounds of it, that he's testing free agency. I think he is potentially think of, thinking about it. So again, that's why they're going to save this trade. But if the Harden deal falls through, which more than likely it will, you've got to do something eventually. And hey, maybe Siakam um, and a couple first round picks and drug, it's just the best you can get. If you're the Raptors, you do this in a heartbeat. Raptors fans, I promise you, Simmons is a lot better of a player than Siakam. Um, he will average more rebounds, 20 times better defense, maybe a couple points less per game. But again, he's going to make that up in playmaking and his terrific defense. Plus, I think it will encourage shooters and that to potentially come to the team and help out. So again, please take my word on that, Raptors fans. Uh, that will just be the better scenario for you. And I think it will improve a player like Fred Van Vliet, etc. a lot more. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA content and NBA news. Um, do you guys think that, you know, this trade could potentially happen? Would you do see Arkham for Simmons? Definitely let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRL slash long channel. Check out my podcast channel as well, which I'll all be linking in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.